Great, let's uh, go ahead and get started. Let me see if, Lucina, uh, are you able to share your screen? I'm trying to get mine on. Yes, I can. So this is our second birds of a feather uh, for Cena test bed. <coughs> um, upcoming events, which I don't I think we probably could jump drop on the schedule. So upcoming um, significant for the test bed and probably for folks on here would be the ONS in San Jose and the start of April. And we're also looking at KubeCon Barcelona in May. Um, there's some other periphery events that folks may be um, attending. If they are, you can drop those in or speak up now. But if, if you have any specific items you'd like to talk about, please add them to the notes. On the project itself, um, for the last several weeks, the main focus has been around um, getting things updated on the testing between OpenStack and Kubernetes across the public hardware that's coming available on Packet. Um, last, uh, the last uh, meeting, we talked about the announcement from Packet on some of the telco-focused hardware with the Intel X10s, um, mobile connectivity. Uh, some of those have come into place with new facilities, but not everything is online. So we're doing some early access um, testing with the Intel network card-enabled uh, systems and waiting for those to become fully publicly available. I know uh, some of those are starting to get tested with Sprint and other folks, but the inventory hasn't increased enough uh, for public demand yet, but that'll continue happening over the next um, couple of months, I think. So we'll see more of those this month. Looking at taking feedback on the different environments, building out those clusters and rolling those in as far as tuning and everything else would be the high level on that type of thing. And the other items tie into looking at some other projects like network service mesh. There's some overlap in with use cases from that side. Um, one of the most interesting use cases I think um, that I've we were looking at last year and is coming up again is how to replicate things uh, that may be used right now in the VNF world, like SIRIOV and other acceleration that you would use in VMs, and then what would look that look like if you did an equivalent on the cloud native side. And we had tested some of those type of setups even with um, the VMs in the test bed last year and what it would look like as far as the type of access you'd see in containers. So we're gonna look more at use cases like that, but we haven't had a, a use case presented by any specific telco or vendor where it's fully defined. So I think that's an area where we'd really like to have more input on what would be useful as a next um, set of use cases. We do have the ONAP, um, <clears throat> Linux Foundation's ONAP project has a bunch of use cases and we're, we've taken, in fact, the, the ones that we've used right now, and the 
the slide deck that you can see from Dan, those were based originally on this. So we'll definitely continue down that path, um, looking at the firewall, the uh, firewall use cases, the load balancing, some of the functional use cases, as well as more performance. We'd love to have input on any specific use cases, ideally where we can do either direct um, contributions to building out the use case or, or defining exactly what it is for a clean room implementation. Since we're trying to do 100% open source on this side versus the proprietary. So we'd take something and rebuild that so that everyone can replicate it. Of course, a full contribution of the use case would be the best. Um, that's, I think, an overview. Um, I can drop some, I'll drop some links to various, like the network service mesh use cases. So I was referring to quite a bit of those. And I'm not sure if anyone's on the call that's been on any of those. I'm not noticing in the list here. But I can drop some links to some of those uh, slides. And does anyone here know of any particular use case or testing that would be a focus that they'd like to see? Dan, do you have any specific topic you would like to discuss right now? Uh, I don't actually. I'd just be curious if um, any of the new folks on the phone have topics they want to uh, jump in on. Yeah. Yeah. So th this is uh, Gunner here, um, and then uh, along with Dennis Leclerc, and I think that this came up on the other call to an NSM call, but and it keeps coming out. But it, it's around the uh, SRIOV use case, and uh, yeah, in my past life, I saw this used extensively, and, and I don't necessarily even see that as a smart nick because, um, I mean, I know it's coming from Intel, but. Um, most people are on x86 anyways, and they're, they're, those NIC cards are not that expensive, not as expensive as some of the other, um, you know, pure play vendors that are focused on, on, the, on the offload cards. But uh, it, it was quite prevalent, not just for performance, uh, but also just for security, where we saw, we saw this being used um, and really sending all the traffic, all the switching was done. So there was SRIOV on, of course, the, the node itself, but then we saw a lot of switching being done, you know, on the top of rack switch. Um, and then you would kind of go back and forth, even though you may have different types of VNFs. Now this is in the KVM hypervisor world. Uh, now things may be a little different, or they will be different, of course, with, um, uh, <clears throat> you know, with pods and containers, but, um, so, yeah, there was definitely the element of performance, but also uh, in, in this multi-tenant environment, uh, which we were working in, is uh, they, they wanted, this particular customer and others wanted all the switching to be done on the top of rack switch. And then, um, so, but we would be interested, uh, Dennis and I, in working, setting up 
something up on packet and exploring that further. Um, and it keeps coming up on the other call too, an NSM call, and it, it does seem to be widespread. So I think we can add value there. We, we do have a, an account on packet um, that, uh, you know, we, we, we can leverage. Uh, that sounds great. Uh, we There's some KVM as well as uh, Docker without any type of orchestration testing that we did in the CNF test bed. It's under, if you look in the comparison area, it's under the box uh, by box section. And there was that most of that was building blocks to go to other things. And we, with the KVM, we were looking at different ways of how we're going to connect directly to the cards at that time, um, what we could build to, to create some of the use cases that we're doing now uh, and prior to OpenSec. So I, I think w even if it's something that is KVM, if it's something that at a minimum can be fully described, and documented like here's the specifications for how it would be laying out that would be useful even if we're going to take that and maybe convert it to be something that runs on OpenSAC with acceleration of the those the vms themselves with srv uh, ports that um that would be a great contribution i think and then we can look at what is the equivalent uh setup for something on kubernetes which is not likely to be a one-to-one, -one, but more of here is how it's done in the, the VM world and what would you do to get the equivalent type of setup and benefits um, if you're going the other way. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So we're, yeah. So that's what we did use. Yeah. We, we previously worked a lot with KVM, but now of course we're most interested in, uh, in cloud native. So, um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll set up some time. Uh, maybe we could discuss this offline, Taylor, if you're open to it with, with Dennis and um, m myself and you. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, thanks, Taylor. I'll, I'll ping you offline and we, we could set up something maybe later this week when you have uh, some spare cycles. Any other topics, use cases, anything folks would like to talk about? Is there anyone familiar with um, ARM in the in the telco world? Wondering if that would be a topic of interest. Okay. Um, I know that there's a, a separate project that has some overlap into uh, the CNF testbed for CI, where we're focused on adding ARM support. So I was a little bit interested in that. Uh, Packet, the provider, has a lot of ARM um, activity as far as machines. And then with them trying to add support for telco specific configurations into their server types, um, as well as adding direct connections into like mobile towers at different um, providers, <clears throat> there could be some interesting things there. So if there's any specific use cases that may require 
rather than say a specific hardware NIC, but maybe configurations that are require specific type of connections out or um, configurations on commodity hardware, I'd be interested in hearing that. Um, it could be machines with a large number of cores, um, large uh, different types of memory configuration, including smaller uh, resources, but maybe high-speed NICs. Um, if anyone has thoughts on those from real-world use cases, that's what we're really looking at helping, both for talking with Packet, um, since they've they've taken direct directions on us and all the configurations. So if you have any thoughts on that for real-world use cases, um, we'd love to hear those. Dan, is, is the ONS uh, presentation, is there anything right now that you'd like to show as far as uh, going through any of the slides, or is there anything to look at right now? Uh, no, but we're going to have an 80-minute workshop at ONS. I don't know that it's scheduled yet, and so that's going to be a good opportunity, I think, to bring in a lot of new folks um, into the project and then uh, begin to address some ideas or questions. And I'm also going to have a, a five-minute keynote where I give a, a shout-out for this project and encourage people to participate. Sounds good. Um, there's a, a boss at KubeCon Barcelona, too. So, Are there any other events that folks know of? Um, thanks for the a shout out on the auto project from a PNSC, by the way, for the ARM based project so, um, from Tina. Are there any other events or projects that folks would like to bring some attention to? Okay. I think we can close this one out and just have some more information on the next one. Please invite folks that are interested in these use case, uh, creating use cases, trying to make a reusable test bed, and doing these comparisons across the different environments. Invite them to the Next boss, it's the, let's see. The next one I believe is gonna be potentially in person. No, the, the April 1st um, meeting will not be on Zoom, so it will be at the open ONS in San Jose. Probably have some in person um, in there and we'll post about that. <coughs> as soon as we can put something together. The next online there is uh, April 15th. So if you're in San Jose, uh, please let us know. Love to see you and get together. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thanks Taylor. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.